Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA Level 3 Probability Distributions Achievement Standard at a merit level. And in this video, I'll be focusing on uh, solving problems that involve uh, inverse normal using a graphics calculator. So in this example, it says the finish times for marathon runners during a race are normally distributed with a mean of 200 minutes and a standard deviation of 30 minutes. And uh, part A, I've already done this uh, question in my previous video. If you haven't already, please do check that one out. And in this video, I'll be looking at uh, part B to this uh, problem, which says uh, calculate the interquartile range for marathon runners in this race. Uh, please note that uh, the interquartile range is given by upper quartile minus the lower quartile. As always, you will need to begin by drawing a diagram, label it, and shade the area that's um, required. And in this case, we are looking for uh, the interquartile range, which will be in between uh, upper quartile and lower quartile. The lower quartile captures 25% of the data, and the upper quartile will uh, capture 75% of the data. And in this question, the mean was uh, 200 minutes, and then we've got the lower quartile, which will capture 25% of the data, and the upper quartile will capture 75% of the data. And then I know that uh, the, um, the central uh, value will cover 50%, so the shaded area is uh, equal to 50%, which is 0 0.5 between lower and upper quartile. So using a graphics calculator, we'll uh, go to the inverse normal function, Remember this time the tail settings uh, must be central because we are looking at uh, middle 50%. And the area value is 0 0.5. The standard deviations are 30, mean is 200 minutes. Now using the graphics calculator, we'll go to menu, select stats menu. And then uh, distributions, we are after normal distribution. And then click F3 to get inverse normal. So change the tail settings to uh, central and then the area is uh, of course 0 0.5 to capture middle 50 percent stint deviations 30 and the um, mean value of 200 and this gives you a lower quartile of, and also the uh, upper quartile and then uh, using the graphics calculator you can see that the lower quartile value is 179.8 minutes and the upper quartile value is 220.2 uh, minutes as shown uh, on the graphics calculator. So once you've got that, then you will need to write the answer uh, in context. So the interquartile range for marathon runners is 40.4 uh, minutes. Now 40.4 minutes is the difference between the uh, two quartiles. So 220.2 minus 179.8 is equal to 40.4. And that's the interquartile range for this uh, problem. And please uh, do not forget to change the uh, tail settings on the uh, graphics calculator. You've got three options, tail settings to the left, tail settings to the right, or the central one. And in this case, central value um, works because it's 25% on either side of the mean. Or I could have also used tail settings left and found the lower quartile by putting area of 0 0.25. And also change the tail settings to right and use area of 0.25 and found the upper quartile. Or, or by keeping the tail settings to um, uh, left and use 0 0.25 as an area to find the lower quartile and 0 0.75 to find the upper quartile. Either way, you will get the same result. So you choice really. And in this case, I'm using central because I know that um, uh, it captures a uh, middle 50 percent and uh, it's easier to get both the values as uh, shown here thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video